Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will make dynamic timeline, and on web scroll, we will load more data in timeline by using PHP script with Ajax. We have already published, video tutorial on how to make dynamic data in timeline, but now we have add feature like load data in timeline on web page scroll. If you have used social media sites like Facebook, then in timeline when we have scroll page, then on page scroll it has load data on web page. So, this type of feature, we will make in this video tutorial, so if you have used timeline feature for display data on web page, then by using this tutorial, you can make style timeline by using this tutorial. Now let's start learning this topic, so this is our testing database, and here we have one table, in this table, we have store some data, we will load this data in timeline on web page scroll. This is our working folder. Here we have two PHP file like index.php and fetch.php. We have one timeline.css file and on images folder in which we have store images. First we have open index.php file, and in this file, we have already load jQuery library, bootstrap library link, here we have use placeholder loading style sheet for make data load skeleton. Now we have go to HTML code part, and here we have write an order list tag, with class is equal to timeline, this is main class for make timeline. Under this unorder list tag, we have write list tag with class is equal to clear fix, and id is equal to clear fix id, this code is required at the end of timeline. Below this, we have write span tag with id is equal to no more data, under this tag we will display no more data available message. Now we have go jQuery code part, and here we have write action variable is equal to, inactive. Below this, we have make load timeline data function, with last id is equal to blank value. This function will load data in timeline. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, with first option url set to fetch.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send last id variable value has been sent to server. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we can define data type, in which we want to receive data, so here we have write json, so it will receive data in json format. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. This function code we will write later. First we have go to fetch.php file, and here first we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nupta class with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to localhost, 
and database name is equal to testing, in second argument, we have write username root, and in last argument we have write blank password. After making database connection, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function with dollar post last id variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post last id variable value is not equal to blank, if this variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from post table, where id less than dollar post last id variable value, and data order by id in descending order, with limit 4. If dollar post last id variable has some value, then this query will fetch data from post table, with id column value less than the value of dollar post last id variable value. But suppose dollar post last id variable has blank value, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from post table, order by id in descending order with data limit 4. After making query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write dollar statement variable, with execute method, it will execute above select query. Below this, we have write dollar total row variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with row count method, this method will return how many row affected after query execution. After this, we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank value, under this we will store content for display in timeline. Same way, we have write dollar not found variable is equal to blank value, under this we will store no more data found message. For store last id data, here we have defined dollar last id variable is equal to zero. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar total row variable value is equal to zero, if this condition false, that means no more data available for display in timeline. Then it will execute else block of code, and under this, we have write dollar not found variable is equal to, message like no more data found. But above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. Below this, we have defined two variable like dollar count variable is equal to zero and dollar class variable is equal to blank value. For fetch data from dollar result variable, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar count variable value with percentage 2, is not equal to 0. If this condition true, 
then it will execute if block code, and here we have write dollar class variable is equal to, class is equal to, timeline inverted. But above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar class is equal to blank value. Now we have write dollar output variable, and here we have append HTML code like list tag, with dollar class variable value, it will add node in timeline. Under this tag, we have write division tag with class is equal to, timeline badge, and primary. After this, we have write division tag, with class is equal to timeline panel, it will make timeline panel. For display timeline heading, here we have division tag, with class is equal to, timeline heading. Here we want to display post title, so here we have write dollar row post title variable, it will display post title under timeline heading. After this, we have write division tag, with class is equal to timeline body, timeline main content will be display under this class. Here first, we want to display post image, so here we have write image tag, with source is equal to, images folder slash, dollar row post image variable, it will display image. After this, we want to display post description, so here we have write dollar row post description variable. Below this, we have write dollar last id variable is equal to, dollar row id variable value, here we have store post id table column data, so at the end of loop, it will store id of last data. Same way we want to increase, the value dollar count variable, so here we have write dollar count variable is equal to, count variable plus one. Now we have again write dollar output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, list tag, with class is equal to clear fix, id attribute is equal to, clear fix id. Here we have write data last id attribute is equal to, dollar last id variable value, this variable value we will use in jQuery, for get last post id. So here we have store data in dollar output variable, and dollar not found variable, so we have write dollar test output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write timeline output, with value like dollar output variable. In second key, we have write no data output, with value like dollar not found variable value. Now we want to send data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have write echo statement, with json encode function, with dollar test output variable. Now we have go index.php, and here we have make skeleton function, it will make data load skeleton on web page under timeline. Under this function, we have write output variable is equal to blank value, 
under this variable we will store skeleton HTML code. After this, we have write dollar with list tag id clear fix id, with remove method, it will remove this tag. Now we have write for loop, with condition like, count variable is equal to zero, count variable value less than four, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, first we have write temporary class variable is equal to blank value. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write count variable value, with percentage 2 is not equal to 0. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write temporary class is equal to, class is equal to timeline inverted, and remove timeline class. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write temporary class is equal to, remove timeline class. Now we have write, output variable, and here we have append HTML code like list tag, with value of temporary class variable. For store timeline bait class tag, here we have write output variable, and we append HTML code like, division tag with class equal to timeline badge class and primary class. For define timeline panel definition, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like division tag with class is equal to, timeline panel class. For define timeline heading, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to timeline heading. Same way for make timeline body, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag with class is equal to timeline body class. Now we have start make skeleton, so, we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph item. After this, we have again write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag with class is equal to, ph column 4. This class is for making grid. For display loading image skeleton loader, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph picture. For display loading content skeleton, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph row. For display main title loading content skeleton, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph column 12 and big. Same way for display, loading content description skeleton, here we have write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag, with class is equal to, ph column 12. 
For make display multiple line of content description skeleton, we have simply copy this line, and paste three times, so it will display loading paragraph content skeleton. After making timeline with skeleton with content load, lastly, we have again write output variable, and here we have append HTML code like, list tag with class is equal to, clear fix, ID is equal to clear fix ID. Now we want to display this timeline content load skeleton on web page, here we have write dollar with, on order list tag class timeline, with append method, and under this we have write output variable, it will display the skeleton content on web page. Now we have go to above function ajax success callback function, and here we have write dollar, with division tag class remove timeline, with remove function, it will remove HTML tag with this class name. After this, we have write dollar, with list tag ID clear fix ID, with remove method, it will this HTML tag. For display post table content under timeline class, so here we have write dollar with unorder list tag class timeline, with append method, and under this we have write data dot timeline output. It will append post content on web page. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data dot not data output variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id not more data, with html method, and under this, we have write data dot no data output variable. Below this, we have write action variable is equal to inactive, here we have defined value to action variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write action variable value is equal to inactive, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have called make skeleton function, it will load timeline content load skeleton on web page. After this, we have write set timeout function, with 3 second. Under this function, we have write load timeline data function, this function will be called after 3 seconds of web page load. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, when page has been load in browser, then on web page we can see timeline data load skeleton on web page, and after some time, it has load content in the form of timeline on web page. Here we can see 4 data on web page in timeline, when we have scroll down web page, then one data has been load in timeline, so for load dynamic data in timeline on web page scroll. We have go to index.php file, and here we have write dollar with window selector dot scroll event, so when we have scroll web page, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write last id variable is equal to, dollar with list tag id clear fix id, with data method, and under this we have write last id, 
so this code will fetch value from this data last ID attribute. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write last ID variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have again write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar window dot scroll top method, plus dollar window dot height method. Value is greater than the value of dollar with unorder list tag class timeline dot height method, and action variable value is equal to inactive, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write action variable is equal to active, here we have change action variable value. After this, we have called make skeleton function, it will make content load skeleton, which will be display on web page in timeline format. Now we have write set timeout function with 5 second, so this function will be called after 5 seconds. Under this, we have called load timeline data function, with last ID variable as argument, this function will be called after 5 second. So here our code is ready, now we check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see post load data skeleton on web page, and after some time, we can see post table data has been load on web page. For load other data in timeline, so we have scroll web page, after scroll of web page, here we can see load data skeleton first has been display on web page, and after some time, it has load post content. So, on every page scroll, it has load next page content on web page in timeline, and before load content first we can see data load skeleton on web page, and after this it has load content on web page. This type of effect, we have seen in social media website like Facebook, in which when page has been load in browser, then first it has display content load skeleton, and then after it has load content on web page. So, in this video tutorial, we have make Facebook style load data in timeline by using PHP script with MYSQL database and Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also.